Hi, I'm Madam Eileen. Welcome back. Do you have your time, your place, and a um, notebook already? Well, now we're going to get practice boards. Now, they can be expensive or they can be cheap. Let me show you a cheap idea. Some of these practice notebooks have a very shiny plastic cover. It's perfect for face paint practice. To test if your plastic cover is perfect for practicing your face paint, feel it. Is it perfectly smooth or do you feel a little texture in the plastic? The texture will actually help hold the pigment from the brush. So if I apply it, I'm going to do a smiley face. you know it's going to be a good book because you can see how well the paint holds. Now, to make sure that's a good fit for your face painting, you need to make sure you can clean it. So I have makeup wipes. Wet wipes will work when I work on people's faces. I like to try to use the makeup remover cloth. And then you take it and you just wipe and see if you can wipe it clean. Sometimes to dry my boards faster, I have paper towels. To make my paper towels last longer, I actually take a sharp knife and I cut my roll of paper towels in half. And some people think they look like a toilet paper roll. I'll grab mine off the wall here. This is my paper towels that I sliced in half. I put a string through it so I can hang it up. I have a safety pin. So if I need to change rolls, I open the safety pin up. I slide this knot off the string and I get a new roll. And then I reload my roll by putting the string back in, catching the knot with the end of my pen and to hide it I just roll it in and there we go I got a nice little paper towel dispenser I'll put that to the side so the plastic cover on your notebook if it has a plastic cover is perfect for face paint practice and that way you don't have to invest in an extra practice board and the black really makes the white stand out the next best thing for your practice board is if you go to the dollar store they have these kitchen cutting mats they usually come two packs so for one dollar you get two of these large boards one side is smooth and the other side the frosted side you hear that that is the sound of a textured surface smooth textured this will make a great face paint board you want to paint on the textured side so you can put it on any flat surface and draw and paint and practice and then you could spray it with a water bottle or if it looks like it's going to stain, you can actually use an all-purpose cleaner. I like to make an all-purpose cleaner with, uh, I fill the bottle all the way up to here with water, so it's mostly water, and then I put a finger's width of lemon, maybe a pinky, a little tiny little bit of lemon ammonia, followed by a few squirts of dish soap of your choice any dish soap works and then I squirt in an air freshener Febreze works to cover up the odor of the ammonia so if you use too much ammonia the water's going to smell like ammonia but it cleans like crazy so if you have stains on your plastic that's not coming out get it go from your wipes and water to just an all-purpose cleaner spray it wipe it let it dry oh if you reuse a white that has white paint on it when you go to wipe your board your board's going to have white streaks on it as well that one's dirty I'm going to go to my drying sheet 
Now, what's really fun about these clear cooking mats that you can use for your face paint practice boards is you can take any magazine picture or any printer of a face, you could even print out your face and then slide the printed paper of your face behind the board and you can paint on yourself. Isn't that just too cool? You also want to paint from different angles, so you might want to put some guidelines on your board. Here's one that I did. Let's see if we can make the lines show up a little bit better. I put lines radiating from all directions, so I have several different starting points to do my lines. Because you don't always go up and down, and you don't always go diagonal like this, and you don't always go diagonal like that. You're going to be curving lines from every direction possible, even don't do up. But you might not want to go that crazy on your board. What I did is I went to the smooth side of the board, I drew my lines, and I flip it over, and the rough side is the side I do the painting on, and I can still just barely see my lines, and I can paint following those guidelines. But you don't want to marker up your board. This is what you can do. You can take a piece of paper. <laughs> I forgot to pull out a fresh piece of paper. But don't worry, I have a whole bunch here on the side uh, in my desk drawer. You can get a piece of lined paper, just regular lined paper that you do for your schoolwork. And you can put this paper underneath. And you can practice drawing your lines on top of the lines of the paper. That's the easiest way to do guidelines. Or you can put, you could actually draw the lines or draw boxes that you want to try to practice painting and staying inside the box on here and then put lay the mat over it and practice with the guidelines that you've put on the board. So this is my favorite practice board to use. Favorite, but boring. It it's, doesn't inspire me for new designs. What I did is I saved up my money and I got a really, really good professional board. Check her out. Isn't she so pretty? Here's one of my designs I came up with. I'll be showing how to do that design in future design tutorials, but I'm just showing you the practice boards. This board, it's very important to know that you can only practice painting on the front. It's a textured plastic, but the back side is the back of the sticker that was put on the plastic board. It may be smooth, but it's not plastic. I have made the mistake of painting on the back of my boy picture. I had one of a girl and one of a boy. Oh, here it is. He's underneath everything. So here he is. I need to practice the belly painting design, and so I used the back of the board, and now it's permanently stained with my belly design of a galaxy. But there is a whole series, different kids of different skin tones, different hair types. I got these because I wanted to try them out, to be honest. They're, they're usually about $22 each. Sometimes you can get them on sale. But I find when I'm creating a new design for the first time, looking at those beautiful faces really inspires me in designing and coming up with new designs. But also practicing on a face, even if it's cartoon, makes it look really, really good and fun. But that's where printing out a picture of your own face and putting it behind the plastic mat sounds like a very fun idea. So there are, these are not the only printed professional projects board. There's more out there. I have links, and so just look in the comments down below and the links, and it'll show you 
some links where I get two of the websites that I like to go for my face paint supplies and you can choose for yourself what you want your practice board to be on. Now the cheapest practice board I forgot to cover is yourself. You could practice on yourself in a mirror, but if that's too tricky, you can practice on your arm, on your leg, on your ankle, on your mom, on your siblings, on a best friend, or you have neighborhood kids that you want to volunteer and paint or at your church. So skin is the easiest, but make sure there are certain hygienic practices you need to use. I'll go over those in a different video. I'll show you what I do to keep my paint sanitary and safe. Well, happy hunting on your practice board. Click on the next lesson when you're ready.